Hey everybody, in this video I want to look at the differences between the two current controllers from FireTech. So here we have the FTQ99SX and here we have the FTQ99NX. So what's the difference between the SX and the NX? Well, first of all, they both run the same software, so they both function very similarly. The NX version though comes in this little waterproof case. It's a Nanook 909 case, so fairly lightweight. Whereas the 99SX just comes like this. It's fiberglass, a double fiberglass on the top here and single fiberglass everywhere else. The panels at the sides and the front and the back are removable, so you can change them when other options become available. The front panel controls here are exactly the same as what we have in this section of the NX here. But the NX also has an extra button here, a big button. This is kind of the start button, the start pause button for your script. On the 99SX, it's just this button here, this little button that says auto. On here, that button is exactly the same, but you've also got another button in parallel with it, a bigger button, which illuminates as well. On the back of this, this is the 99SX. On this version, I've got the 868 megahertz and network option. So I've got one antenna here, which screws in like so. Like that. We'll just untake that off for now for simplicity. And, and then also on the back, we've got a power button. The power button corresponds to this power button here. So the same power button. I've got a time code in out jack here, an RCA jack. There's also one on here, a little bit more robust on this one. Then we've got a data USB-C and a charge USB-C. So the charge is what charges the battery in here. Standard USB-C charging cable. That's also on here. The USB-C data port, that's for installing firmware updates and for copying script files across and for playing back audio files. That's also on the NX as well. So the main difference is the audio output on here is on a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack on the SX, whereas on the NX, it's actually on a separate left, right RCA jack. It would have been nice if these were balanced, either jacks or XLRs, rather than unbalanced uh, phono RCA connectors, but Firetech do do a separate dedicated audio box, which we might cover in another video, which does have balanced outputs. So going back to the antenna, as I say, this particular version of the 99SX just runs on the 868 megahertz range. You can get a 2.4 gigahertz option as well, in which case this would have a second antenna connection. This particular 99NX box that I've got here has both. So we have a antenna HF and an antenna LF, so high frequency and low frequency. And then we have two different antennas, a 2.4 gigahertz and a 868 megahertz aerial. So they screw in to there. The other thing you might notice on here is we have a key switch to arm the system. On this, as standard, it doesn't come with a key switch. I believe you can get it as an option. Um, but to arm this one, you have to push and hold a button for a few seconds, whereas this is just a key. So I do kind of prefer that. This is more, I guess, portable, lightweight. If you're standing firing a show, if you're standing up, this is probably a better option. If you are sat down or if you've got a table, if you're doing it professionally and you know you need to connect to a sound system and stuff and you've got a surface to put it on, this is probably the better option. But functionality wise, do you know what? They're pretty much the same. So let's just talk about the arming again. So if I turn this unit on, this is the SX. We'll turn this one on. So to arm this unit, I have to push and hold the shortcut arm button for a few seconds. And then it's armed. If I want to arm this, let's turn this one on first. So to arm this, actually that's really cool. I've learned something new there. It's actually detected that we've got two controllers on the same network here. And it says other controller online, please power off one or make a custom network or change the wireless channel. So at the moment, these controllers 
are both on the same network and it doesn't like it. So we need to turn one of these off or change the wireless settings on one. I'm just going to turn this one off for now. There we go. And then let's see if this message clears, or maybe I need to clear it itself, or perhaps I need to turn it off and on again. Right, there we go. So to arm this one, we can either arm it the same way as the SX, so we can push and hold the shortcut button for five seconds and it's armed. And to come out of that, we can push and hold the shortcut button again for five seconds to disarm. Or alternatively, the quicker way is using the key. We can put the key in and turn it to arm and straight away it's armed, turn it to test straight away it's disarmed. So I do like this feature. It makes arming and disarming the system a lot quicker. You'll see as well, we get a nice illuminated green button here as well for the start fire. But as I say, those are the main differences between the two units. Functionality wise, they're identical, but the NX unit comes in a flight case with the addition of a key switch with the audio output on RCA phono jacks and with a slightly bigger start pause button. Price wise, again, Firetech pricing is a little bit um, vague and fluid, shall we say, but generally speaking, the 99NX is around about 350 euros. That's about 300 pounds, 375 dollars, roughly more expensive than the 99SX. So it's going to come down to preference as to which one you get. I have this one. This is one I borrowed just to be able to show to you guys. Uh, this is my own. I actually have a flight case that I store this in, but when I'm firing shows, I tend to be stood up. I tend to be holding this and firing this with my hands. It's a good size to hold, to grip. The buttons are illuminated. The buttons on here are illuminated as well, so you can see them in the dark. So I personally prefer this, but again, if you're a professional firework show and you're setting up and you've got a, a desk, perhaps there's several different firework companies all firing and they've all got space on the desk, this is the better option. This makes it easy as well to connect to a sound system. As I say, there is a dedicated audio box as well, which we might cover in another video. But there we go. Those are the key differences between the FTQ99SX and the FTQ99NX. Do check out my video where we're going to actually look a bit more in depth about how this unit actually operates. And that will apply to both this and the 99NX.